folks, Eric here at Bailey Industrial, and today we are going to discuss some of the operational functions of a very popular machine for us, our mandrel benders. And the one we're looking at here specifically is an MB60 NCE2, meaning a 60 millimeter machine, NC controlled with two operational axes. So first off, in the controller here, you'll see this main screen here. Uh, first function we're gonna go to and check out is gonna be manual mode. To get there, we're just gonna touch manual mode button here. That takes us to the manual screen. So the first thing we're gonna do in manual screen here is advance our mandrel. Now on the opposite end of the machine, we would set the hard stop on there so that it would index off the proximity switch so that that mandrel would advance to the proper depth. So the first thing to do to advance that mandrel is to hit the mandrel button here. Now that's in mandrel mode. And the second we hit our plus or minus button here, the pump on the machine will kick on. Once the pump's on place, we can advance manually here by the push of a button, the mandrel. It'll stop at our distance that we have set on the hard stops at the other end of the machine. Then the next operation is to advance the clamp on the die. That's right here. We're going to press the clamp die. You see the mandrel then shuts off. We're going to hit our plus key to advance the clamp. And we're going to clamp the material in the die. From there, we're going to advance our pressure die. We're going to touch our pressure, pressure die button here. Clamp die shuts off. Now we're on pressure die mode. Now we're going to advance the pressure die onto the material. At this point, we're ready to bend. Now in this mode, this is a manual screen, so the bend degree is literally read out here on the DRO. So we hit our X, Y axis here. We're ready to bend. Now if I hit the plus button here, this, the arm on the machine will bend, holding the material, and we will make a bend. However, we need to watch our degree here to see where we're at and know when we want to stop from there. So let's go ahead and make a bend. Holding the button down while the arm swings, making the bend. We're going to stop at roughly 90 degrees plus the spring back there. Then at that point, first thing we want to do is retract our mandrel first. So we're going to touch our mandrel button, hit minus, and back that up all the way till it stops. Then we're going to, re to release our clamp die here. Touch the clamp die, hit the minus button. The clamp releases. Touch our pressure die to retract it. Now our pressure die will release. And now hit our Y axis to return the arm back to zero. And that bend in manual mode is completed. Other features that we can operate here in manual mode is the orientation of the material. Uh, we can do that here by hitting our clamp button on the far right hand side of the screen. By, by highlighting that we can now hit our plus key, put material in the jaws on the chuck and actually clamp it in place and hold its position. If we need to do a bend on a different plane of bend, basically 90 degrees in relationship or 180 degrees in relationship to the bend prior, we can hit our excess Z button here, highlight it, and this dialog box screen will show up. When we want to roll that material over, you'll see it read out here our degree where we're at in relationship to 90. By hitting our, mi our plus or minus key here, it'll roll that material over. When we like the degree where we're at, simply uh, let go of the button and make that bend at that, at that orientation.